At the end of each month, we look back at the work done in your Knox County government and how Knox County is the best place to live, work, build a business, and raise a family. Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs began May by unveiling his proposed budget for the upcoming fiscal year, which included an 8% raise for deputies and a 4% raise for teachers. With the support of KCS, the Knox County Public Library, and the Knox Education Foundation, One Book Read City launched its newest endeavor. This year's book, Zoe and Sassafras, Dragons and Marshmallows, was delivered to 30,000 elementary students in Knox County. Mayor Jacobs, Weigel Stores, and Cruz Farm highlighted the One Book Read City scavenger hunt and art contest winners with a pizza party at Zoo Knoxville. Mayor Jacobs took time in May to congratulate area high school seniors as they move forward to their next chapter while joining our library staff and celebrating the 2023 Children's Festival of Reading. As we inch closer to summer, you can turn the chapter for your newest reading challenge by joining our Summer Library Club. Read and log your reading goal of 36 hours and return to any library location by August 5th to receive Read City USA prizes. Please visit knoxcountylibrary.org summer for more information. Mark Lett of Veteran Services and Kendall Farrell from the Health Department were named as May's Employees of the Month. Finally, the Knox County Parks and Rec Department joined community partners in the 6th Annual Beaver Creek Flotilla. The event saw over 400 kayakers traverse the Knox County Water Trail, a 44-mile stretch of navigable water across five communities between Clayton Park and Halls and Melton Hill in Hardin Valley. Well, thanks for following along. We look forward to another great month in Knox County government.